Hello everyone, this is King Vector 11 welcome back to another weekly rant or ramble video of the week in which on today's topic I will be discussing the new increased payouts for select GTA Online jobs that has been recently implemented this week as of the bottom dollar bounties DLC being out for already like a week and a half or so. Of course, this follows my last video that was done yesterday, which was the free money week. If you wish to check that out, I will put the link of that video in the description below. These topics also follow my latest GTA Online weekly update news videos. So if you wish to check that out, I will put the link of that in the description as well as this week's weekly update for GTA Online. And also for those who wants to stay tuned and check out my Twitch channel for when I do stream on Twitch, you can check my channel out. I'll put the link of that as well in the description. And now headed into the topic that I will be discussing in today's video, which is more like a ramble than a rant. I'll just be rambling on on the official price or reward increments that Rockstar has finally done for select jobs in GTA Online. But one thing I feel is necessary for me to get off my shoulders so that I lead most of you to the right direction in life. When dad at home tells you, to go out and get a job, he didn't mean to go into GTA Online to play these jobs. That's not what he means, he actually means to go work at McDonald's or Wendy's and start flipping burgers for $12 an hour. That's what he means. Anyways, I feel like I had to guide you guys in the right direction, so go get it. Now, as of the recent patch notes that Rockstar has done about a week and a half ago prior to the, or actually with the official release of the Bond Dura Balance DLC, Rockstar has stated they will do increased money payout rates for some select jobs, which I will go over in this video, but may not come in chronological order, where they have increased the money payouts for a Super Yacht Life contact mission, Lamar's Lowrider contact mission, Operation Paper Trail contact mission, Casino Story contact mission, Gerald's Last Play contact mission, Madrazo Dispatch Service contact missions, Premium Deluxe Repo Work contact missions, Project Overthrow contact missions, Open Wheel Races, and Taxi Work. Now for those who wants to know specifically how much you could make off of these jobs, I will go over these details that I have taken from Tez2 from Twitter. I will put all of those sources in the description below for those who wants to see them for themselves. And yes, I will go over every single increase of every job that was mentioned by him on Twitter. Starting off with taxi work, where the rewards were increased by 150%, in which you may now earn about $40,000 from 10 fares, which was up from the 16000 which was awarded previously. And of course, as Tez2 has mentioned these updates, there is someone out there who thinks that Tez2 is in charge of these updates and is the higher up for Rockstar Games, which... Um, it's not true, so I'm glad one person out there was awakened enough by, you know, actually going to school and learning Common Sense exists and told the person that Tez2 is not a developer, so this person making a rant to Tez2 solved absolutely nothing. Congratulations for exposing yourself. Anyways, moving on, the payouts for open wheel races were increased by 50%, in which you may now earn $14,000 solo or $35,000 with 8 players within the 6 to 8 minute mark. The new payouts, as I will show you right here, are as follows, where, of course, if you decide to do open wheel races solo, if you decide to have, well, obviously by yourself, doing the races within less than two minutes. You can make yourself $2,000. Making less than four minutes will make you 6,000. Doing a race less than eight, uh, less than six minutes will make you 11,000. Doing a race less than eight minutes will give you 14,000. And doing any more than 15 minutes will award you with $18,390. And how do I know it's 15 minutes? Well, obviously it's a in implemented code that Rockstar has done for most of these jobs where it could only take up to 15 minutes to get the most payout as possible. Now moving on to doing open wheel races with four players, for those who finish in first place within two minutes will make 3,600, doing a race in first place less than four minutes will make them 8,500, doing a race less than six minutes will award them $14,000, a race less than eight minutes will award 19,000, and anything more than 15 minutes will award them $24,000. 
if you wish to check out the overall uh, awards for the other positions depending on how long the race takes you can check that out on your own time if you wish to pause the video right now for like two seconds before you resume it so i'll give you the chance to do that right now here are all the payouts for eight players in open wheel races where first place within two minutes will award them six thousand within four minutes will award them fifteen thousand within six minutes will award them twenty six thousand within eight minutes will award them thirty five k flat and any more than fifteen minutes will award them forty three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Of course, if you wish to check out the other uh, award payouts for the other positions, you can check that out as well on your own time. You can pause the video right now if you like. Moving on to 16 player open wheel races. First position within uh, two minutes will award them $12,000, which is quite a lot. At least for me, it doesn't, it's not like anything as big as Kale Perico Heist, so don't, you know, flip out and be like, these these awards are still not as good. I mean, Rockstar's not going to make every single job in GTA Line worth as much as Kale Perico Heist, otherwise it would be completely boring, and there will be no grind, and Rockstar will not make any money from microtransactions, obviously, so that's why, you know, it's best for you to have fun doing these races with your friends. Anyways, moving on to being first position within four minutes, you will be awarded $28,780. Uh, first position less than six minutes will award you forty nine thousand. First position within less than eight minutes will award you sixty five thousand, and anything more will award you eighty two thousand two hundred and twenty dollars. Now, amongst all the amount of players that you need, this is the first time you will actually need sixteen players to actually make as much as first place within two minutes as you would when you are in 10th place when you do the race longer than 8 minutes. So being 10th place and above is the way to go if you wish to make the most money from these races as possible. So good luck out there. Now the payouts for Madrazo Dispatch Services and premium deluxe repo work missions were increased by 50%, although they pay slightly less than the previous missions. Completion within 4 to 6 minutes now yields $216,000 per hour, which is up from $144,000 previously. Taking an up close look at this chart, you can see that Madrasa Dispatch Services and Premium Deluxe Repo Work covers all difficulties from easy, normal, and hard, covering as little as doing this solo or up to four players. Depending on your payouts, these are the payouts that you will make depending on how long it takes to finish these missions. Now, I personally do not think doing any of these missions on hard with four players is worth finishing in less than a minute, especially if you wish to make as much as doing these missions of 15 minutes or more with four players on hard difficulty unless you have managed to, let's say, complete these missions within 22 seconds and then you'll be able to start it up again it's still not as worth it in my opinion you you just go the full 15 minutes i mean it's going to be a little waste of time but i mean 15 minutes is 15 minutes it's going to save you 15 percent or more on car insurance like for real now the payouts altogether for gerald's last play project overthrow and casino story missions were increased by 50 percent as well in which completion within four to six minutes now yield two hundred twenty five thousand dollars per hour which was up from one hundred and fifty thousand previously now you can look at this chart if you wish to pause the video right now looking at all these payouts which codes across all easy normal and hard difficulties ranging from doing this solo or up to four players in which of course if you wish to get the most payout as possible doing four players on hard difficulty or over 15 minutes will award you successfully $46,800. There are also increased payouts to a Super Yacht Life missions and Operation Paper Trail contact missions that were doubled, in which the completion within 4 to 6 minutes now yields $300,000 per hour, or rather increased by 100%, and it is up from $150,000 previously. Now, what I find interesting about this chart, for as long as you wish to stare at these overall, let's say, 
uh, rewards. Uh, what I find interesting is you will see Operation Paper Trail covers all easy, normal, and hard difficulties from one to four players, but a Super Yacht Life is only covering normal and hard difficulties, so that generally tells me that you have to do a Super Yacht Life missions on at least normal difficulty rather than easy difficulty if you wish to do these missions. Regardless though, all of these jobs will pay you at most, depending if you do this on hard difficulty with four players and complete the mission successfully over 15 minutes of playtime in the mission, it will award you $62,400 for Operation Paper Trail and a Super Yacht Life contact missions. And finally, last but I guess pretty much least or not so least depending on what kind of player you are up to now Lamar's lowrider missions were also doubled or increased by 100% from the previous payout in which completion within four to six minutes now yields 375 oh wait you can't see it all right one second what just give me give me it nah too big uh, actually, I could just do this. Yeah, that's no too big, too big. Okay, <clears throat> can you see it now? All right, you can, you can. Okay, good. Okay, the payouts for Lamar's lowrider missions were doubled or increased by one hundred percent from the previous payouts, in which completion within four to six minutes now yields three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars per hour, which was up from the one hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars previously. Now my OCD is getting triggered seeing this chart not being even, so let me just do this real quick before I move on. It's gonna take me only like a few seconds, so don't mind me, just, I don't know, check your phone or something, let me just fix this, alright, here we go. Alright, so here's the chart for the Lomar Lowriders payouts, where here is all of the payouts that you can make, depending on if you, of course, have to do this with four players, no matter what, in which the most payout, if you do this on hard difficulty with obviously all four players over 15 minutes after successful completion, you can make yourself $60,060, not $600, $60,060 dollars i almost screwed myself up there anyways so here are all the payouts of all the new payouts rather for all of these jobs and once again i would like to remind you that obviously these aren't so you know drastically improved because you know rockstar they don't want to drastically give like big improvements to stuff it's a very small increment it may not be that major, but it's still better than what it used to be previously. So think about that for a moment if you wish to, let's say, do some open wheel races, or if you continue doing Gerald's last play missions, which now pays a lot more than it used to. So just want to mind you on that. You, it may not be that impressive to you, but in the end, it's still paying a little more, even if it may not be as much as a Diamond Casino heist which I don't recommend doing on PC, or if it's the Kale Pericle heist, which I definitely always recommend, even if Rockstar keeps incrementing bugs into that heist every month or so, but anyways, I digress. It's still a good payout, better than it was used to be previously, so it may not be the biggest, you know, whoop de doo but it's still gonna pay you a lot more than it used to before, so I would definitely give some praise out for that. Unless you want to stick with making $20 after 15 minutes, I mean, hey, that's your choice, go ahead, but... I mean, I personally feel like this is a little improvement, and on that behalf, I respect Rockstar a little bit more based on this. Now, the main question is, how long will these payout rates stay as it is right now, or if Rockstar will revert back into their original ways? I have no idea, but as far as I'm concerned, two years ago, when Rockstar released the summer special updates where they gave a few more new missions to the nightclub, um, popularity missions, or they even increased the payouts for VIP work, where finally Rockstar went against their word and decided to revert these payouts back to original, where before they used to always pay 50000 now they went back and decided to make VIP works pay $25,000. There was even like a limited time you can make yourself bonus money permanently from selling 
uh, bunker goods or selling CEO crate goods, but they finally went back on their word. They probably fired the guy who gave this idea and realized people were actually having fun, actually making money, and that was making Rockstar less microtransactions. So, <clears throat> yeah, go figure. Um, so I don't know how long these increased payouts will last, but chances are by the end of this DLC, before they release the winter DLC, we will see. One thing I also have concerns about as of now that I reminded myself of thankfully before I moved on to giving my outro. When will Rockstar finally give a limited time panther statue for the Kao Perigo Heist? Like it's already been over a year. And despite Rockstar giving more and more bugs into Kao Perico or a little more nerfs and whatnots going on, some balancing, quote unquote balancing changes, whatever the heck they decide to stroke their dicks on, freaking Rockstar. Um, when are they going to release the Panther statue? I have no idea. I personally have no idea, but it's been over a year and I am having concerns for in regards to if Rockstar just doesn't care about the players anymore or if we've been playing the KO Perko heist way too often for their liking that they decided, you know what, you guys are making so much money off of this, you don't deserve the Panther statue, which would be such a dick move on Rockstar's behalf, but it, regardless, it's Rockstar, it's their game. What can you do about it, right? If they wish to suck dick as much as they wish and please, then whatever, that's their choice. Regardless though, these were all of the new payout increases done in GT Online. Probably for a temporary amount of time, probably for a limited time, I have no idea. Maybe it might be kept permanently, maybe, which would be only a good thing because, I mean... The game is already 10 plus years old, I don't think anyone wants to continue grinding in this game any longer than they should. For a literal F1 vehicle worth for 3 million dollars or something, that's... That's absolutely crazy. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys did find this video informative, and if you wish to stay tuned for more content like this or anything else that you may be interested in watching, or if you wish to follow me on Twitch, go right ahead. I would definitely appreciate the support. Watch time. Hopefully you guys will enjoy watching whatever you may find interesting on my channel besides this. And as far as I'm concerned, I hope you guys have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you on the next one. And yeah, hope you do have a great day, everyone. And good luck out there.